Hi everyone and welcome back to the old so and so. So I finally have enough of these little coin purses to make my project. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so that's what we're working on today. So let's get started. Um, I have old pictures. Um, I have, um, you know, the little lace, different lengths, different wide. I have buttons, measuring tape, whatever you could think about to add to some of these pictures. Um, different kinds of buttons. Um, I have a flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, an X-Acto knife, a pen tool, scissors. I have different kinds of glue, um, depending on what I think might work. And I also have the double-sided tape which, you know, I kind of use that in all my projects. All right, so let's take one of these. We're gonna take this one and we're gonna take the material off. And that's where your X-Acto knife comes in handy. And all I'm doing is literally just cutting it away from the frame. So be very careful. Um, the X-Acto knives can be sharp. Just kind of taking my time. There. Now I've got a better grip on it. I got a better grip on it, Tater Chip. Okay. So I'm just going down next to that frame and getting rid of it. Of course, I want to be very careful. Let me do it this way. Now, if you did not want to use old pictures, maybe if you have postcards that you like or um, um, anything that you'd kind of like to frame. So I'm just going to take this X-Acto knife and just get rid of the fabric. Okay. Now. Don't get in a hurry because this takes a little while. Okay. So, um, if you can see, I don't know if you can or not. See right in there? That's where that fabric is because it's clamped together and that's what we want to get into. So hopefully I can take my X-Acto knife and if you can't get it in there, then this is where the flathead screwdriver comes in. I'm just gonna slide it in and twist it just a little bit to bend it out. Just a little bit. Maybe it'll come out now. All right, I think that's got it. Then I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers and 
I'm gonna try to get a hold of that fabric and I'm just going to pull slowly. It's coming out. Kind of stuck in that corner. Sometimes you can pull it out with your fingers. Let me cut some of that off so you can see it a little better. Okay, we're gonna get it going here. I didn't say this was gonna be easy. I have found out that um, when an art project takes you a little while, then it's gonna turn out perfect. Now we got it. Let's just kind of get it going again. Being very careful. Anytime you work with, you know, tools, you should probably wear glasses. Try it one more time. Trying to coax it out. Let's see, maybe I can cut this from the side and go the other way. Oh, well, there. Let's try that in. That one's pulling out a little better. Well. All righty, so let's open that one up just a little bit. Just spreading it apart. get it going again. There we go. Now. There we go. The lather works a lot better because I thought before I did this, I thought, well, I better try and make sure that this is going to work before I get on here. <clears throat> so, here we go again. Now, if you could find these already without the fabric, <laughs> how perfect would that be? Alrighty, that means that's working just pretty good. I'm just taking it in that little groove and I'm just spreading it just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. Now, let's see if it's gonna work now, oh yeah. Maybe it's attached to the side a little bit. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> now we're gonna 
get the rest of it out, hopefully. Um, sometimes, I know. And I'm sure you guys that are watching this, you would probably be like, hey, if you did this, it might make it a little easier. Because I don't want to break my pen tool Well, maybe just loosening up that little, I won't call it a whale. <laughs> I can't think of anything else to call it. Really. There. Now it's coming out. Anything worth doing is worth doing well, right? All right, let's just keep going with this little t trick. Because that seemed to work the best. And some of these pictures that I'm going to be using is kind of thick. There we go, it loosened that up. Well, there, we got half of it clean. <clears throat> and then you can just kind of scrape off some of the other stuff. You can't see it because I'm, uh, I just wasn't able to get my camera like I wanted it to today. because when it's that material, it is kind of on there. There. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, these are definitely something Special, just something different to put into your home that you're interested in and something different than anyone else. I, I, I tell you, <clears throat> that's the one thing about having antiques. You might have antiques. Somebody else has antiques. But they all don't look the same because you guys decorate totally different. You might put something different together. Alrighty. We just want to get this cleaned out of that little well, which I can, I can feel it coming out. Just takes a little time because if you know me, if I want to do this project, I'm going to make sure I'm going to figure out some way. Well, Oops. 
some more of it. Oh, good. Maybe that had a double. No wonder. But all nice and neat is what we want. And then that would just come out. Okay, we just got a little bit more. Perfect. Now, we finally got it clean. And we just have this part. Now, each one of these are different sizes, okay? This one is a little different than this one. One's small, one's large. So this one, um, I'm going to put this picture in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it down and um, See, it is a little too big, but that's okay. Let's see, can I, um, okay. So instead of going right to the edge, I'm gonna come in just a little bit, making sure it's even, okay. Now, um, so I'm gonna lay that down. See, it does have, you can bring it up a little bit if you, there. So now on the back, you can see in the corners where I'm gonna take a pencil and trace that curve. just a little bit, and then I'm going to cut that. Just a little bit. Now, I'm gonna have to cut this on my paper cutter, but if you don't have a paper cutter, you can always use just your scissors. Let's see if this we're just gonna try this. Now, I've only, only stretched one side out. The other side you don't need because that can go up against your wall, okay? So, let's see how this works. Come on. Come on, fingers. Okay. So I definitely need to trim some more. Okay. A little bit more off one side. Let's see. Well, maybe I'll trim off this side. Now. Oh, is it? It's a little snug and that's okay. Mm, kind of wiggles a little bit. Let me pull it out. Cut just a little bit off this side. Just a little bit. Eyeball it. Now. And I want it to go under that little lip. There. OK. 
Okay. There. Um, it's still a little bowed, but I think it's tight enough in there that I don't think it's going to come out. But look how pretty. I, I just think it decorates one old picture. And then um, I want to trim this bottom one just a little bit. And we'll go down this side just a hair. Okay. Um, now I do have some lace that I could put this one. Or I have a smaller one that I think I like better. Um, it's not as wide. Yeah, I think that's it. So, on the back, I'm going to put some double-sided tape. Okay. Just on the bottom. Press. And then, let me get my lace here. Kind of hard doing this up in the air. You can have it come past the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to press this. And then I'm going to trim off the excess. Now, there we go. Um, mm, with my pen tool, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, you could always add if you didn't put that. Let's see, um, I was going to use this one for another one. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim the bottom of that. Okay. And what's about the middle? I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm gonna do a small little hole, just a small one, very small, okay? Now, in this massive mess that I have here, this was in some of my old sewing stuff. I, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a, a little pearl, kind of. I'm sure this probably came off of um, a necklace or something like that. So instead of putting lace at the bottom of this one, I'm going to put that little loop in there. And then get my needle nose. And I'm just going to kind of pull it down. And then, if you want to, you can always squeeze it. But I don't want to squeeze it too tight. Now, so you can embellish them this way. Um, maybe I want some buttons on this. Just a few. Um, I do have some. These are old. I got these 
I don't know how many years ago. There was a good sheet of them and these are old metal. Um, I could use those. Um, I am curious about these. If I could clip the back off, do you see it? With this wire. Let's try it. Okay, it's flat. It worked. So I could take this one and maybe do a row of buttons. Just to kind of add something to it. That does kind of stick up a little much, so maybe that one won't work. But this one, can you see it? I thought that was pretty. But it does stick up a little bit. Maybe I'll put it next to the lace and hot glue that. You could hot glue it or um, I'm going to try um, crazy glue. But do I really want that? Let's see. Because I am making this for my house. And um, have this one, it, this is wood, this one hole. I'm not quite sure how they would attach that, but that might look better. Yeah, simple. Maybe I'll put the bottom one on top. Play with it before you glue it. Okay, so let's try that out. I know you can't see. Hold on. Look at that. Um, squeezing this out of the crazy glue. As we all know, don't get your fingers close to it. And then I'll come up. Okay. I'm sure this needs to sit a little while. Look at how pretty. Um, I want to do another one and um, see how pretty on the wall. I can't wait. Um, I want to do another one, but I want to use the um, the dresser, dress makers ribbon here. Um, I have one, I have this one that I tried on this morning to make sure I could get it out. Um, but I didn't get the little stuff out. <laughs> Let me just say, this one's leather. Um, I don't know if it's, oh, I see. Okay, hold up. Let me get that in there. Thank goodness I have a, yeah, I can see it. Oh, very. Pen tool, pen tool, where's my pen tool? Here you are. No. Where's the pen tool? Here it is. Um, let's see if I can get it going. Just 
just enough to where I can get It's a little different from everyone else's. So, I'm gonna spread it just a little bit. See if that will help coast it out. Now, if I could just get it going. Oh good, let's see if that helps. gonna take a little time. Maybe the other side will be better. Um, the leather ones did well. Let's see what um, let's see what this one will do. Thank goodness this part is already done from both sides and it has gold so let's um, wouldn't it be great if we could just pull it out? Oh, <laughs> so you never can tell. See? Now one side did it. Now it would be great if the other side would pull out. I feel it moving. That one was the easiest by far. You see? Um, definitely need to spread the front out just a little bit. And then I can get my, there we go. Just spread it apart. Now this one down the side of it is, it is clamped together. So we'll have to just do it a little different from the other ones. And remember, we're only doing one side. The other one, the very first one I did, I did both sides and I thought, well, goofy head, you don't have to do both sides. One's gonna go up against the wall and one's not. <clears throat> okay. Now, I definitely have to trim it. But look at the back of that picture. How pretty. Alrighty, so let's just look and see how much we would have to trim. Let's get rid of the, the border on here anyway. And do I know any of these people? No. I just think that the old black and whites are beautiful. I think a lot of it has to do with their clothes. Ooh, that one just popped right in there. How perfect is that? And I think there. Well, what is that over there? There. Perfect. Maybe I will do this on them. I can always run it down the side. 
incorporate it. Add something. Alrighty, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I can't wait to get all these done. I'm going to hang them on the wall. Um, I'm definitely not going to use nails. Um, I have this straight pen that I'm going to hang on the wall because, you know, these are so light. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to finish the rest of these little coin purses into my special picture frames. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you have an awesome day. I hope this inspires you to definitely think outside the box. So, thank you so much for all of my new subscribers and my old ones. And thank you so much for your comments. I think they're great. So, have a great day. Um, I will talk to you the next time. Bye.